Number two for you, maybe the only quarterback you could put at number two where people are going to be disappointed or fans of that team are going to be disappointed. Yeah, that's right. Here's your guy. Is Patrick Mahomes. Yes, that's right. Patrick Mahomes, number two right now. I mean, we're talking about, yeah, already a first ballot Hall of Famer. And to me, already, I mean, one of the greats of the greats. I mean, we're already at that with, with him. All right? He's the coolest quarterback in the NFL, probably the most fun to watch in the NFL. I think that's where you talk about his creativity and deliveries and the way he plays is unlike anybody else in the sport. All right. That's where he's just different, you know? And I mean, come on, what, what, you, you can watch 10 throws in a row of this guy and go, he didn't really throw one throw normal. One was sidearm flick. The other one was across his body. This one, the legs were cockeyed and he just threw it. And I mean, he's all over the place, but it doesn't really matter because the ball's on the money more times than not. I mean, that's where he's amazing. So deliveries, quick release, finding like awkward holes to throw the ball through where you go, oh, no, man, he's the pockets collapsing here. This guy's open, but how's he going to get the ball? And he finds some way to get it through the garden tackle gap there and they uh, on the money. I mean, that that's where it's crazy. It's one of the best arms in the league. He is of course, got great effect and leadership on his team like we talked about. I mean, you got Patrick Mahomes. Oh, wait, there's 4.2 seconds and we're down by a touchdown. We got a chance. It's Mahomes. We got a chance. So it's 4.2. They left too much on the on the clock. I mean, that, that's where we are with the guy, you know. And then, um, you know, great touch. You know, I think that's one thing. Like, people talk about his arm. The one thing when I come back and watch him a little bit, you know, and like where I talked about Herbert, who doesn't have anticipation, Mahomes has an incredible arm, but does anticipate. He does. He can just lay a ball out there on a 20-yard out route, and the guy's still running straight up the field and just about to break outside, and they turn around, and it's like the ball's there. And he threw a slow, you know, changeup that got out there and was right on the money. Or just his ability to Travis Kelsey running a deep cross, and he's backpedaling and just does this. And it just drops, you know, from the sky 30 yards down the football field. Uh, it's incredible. And then I talk about his scrambling ability. I mean, he's one of the best scramblers in football. What about that? <clears throat> because last year we talked about go, that. Go, let's go. A little see, bit. That's where I like you. This is where you listen to me and you're going to ask the appropriate question. Er, early, in the, early in the year, yeah. you go, ah, something's not right. Yes. Something's not right with his ability to escape the pressure in the right. pocket. Something's not right with his ability to run after breaking the, uh, the pocket. Uh, I mean, did did that improve as the year went on? It Is, did. It okay. did. But the, it, I still will contend that I do think it looked a hair slower from the year before. And I will say that I know his toe was bothering me, as you heard me say during the year last year. They weren't going to say it. I know his toe was a concern for them a little bit. So I do think he, like, lost a little bit. But as the year went on, you know, because I, I, I spent this time week this weekend, again, watching these again, where you go – Oh, yeah, towards the end of the year, he, he definitely was running better than early on in the year. And when we talk about the scrambling, he is one of the best scramblers in football. Do you want to cough? I'm holding it in. I know you are. Hold, cough it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. There we I go. Know, I would hate that if I was it. That's yes. what I meant to say. I know you because I can see you're like, I might need more <laughs> tea and more honey. Now. All right. <laughs> but, but he's an incredible scrambler. But why he's number two is – him in the pocket this year was not good. We had a lot of games, if you remember, where oh, I, not good. It, it was not good for his standards, and then really, and there was a few games where I would go, it was not good actually for a lot of quarterback standards. Like I would go, this this was he was bad, you know. I know, I don't think you were here the week the Tennessee Titan game. They lost in Tennessee and they were down twenty seven to three or whatever at one point in the football game. You know, that's one game that jumps out to me, and there's a lot in every game where you see it where, hey, step up in the pocket, or why are you floating this way? There's The pocket's perfect. Why, why are you floating backwards and, like, literally backpedaling into trouble, right? There's a lot of that last year. He, he got a little bit too backyardy last year, in my opinion, mm. where we just talked about Justin Herbert, and I want to go, I wish he would play a little bit more backyard football. Mahomes, I would go, I wish you would be just a little bit more like Justin Herbert and like stay in the pocket just a hair more and play it by the book. He was too aggressive with decisions down the field, predetermining decisions, you know, trying to make big play and the magic happen. And you'd sit there and go, damn, there's three people underneath open for seven yards. Why are we throwing? 
throwing a sidearm 40-yard throw down the middle of the field into double coverage. So that's to me, is why he's two. He's still awesome. But I think between those two things, he had a little bit of a down year. He was a little careless with the football at times. And I think that's why I gave the edge to Josh Allen as being the number one guy. If you only went off what you saw last year and didn't know about Patrick Mahomes and how great he has been. No doubt. There's, I don't, yes. I don't think there's any doubt. Where is he? Well, he's if he's, he just went off of only – if all you knew about Patrick Mahomes was what you saw last year. Yeah. yeah I still think he's – Right here in this conversation, he's he's still he's still too like wowing and makes too many good plays. And, you know, even I'm being again, we're being picky when I talk about not being good in the pocket or being too aggressive. I mean, again, it's so I'm holding him to a standard here. That's that's the a Patrick little, Mahomes standard. Exactly yes. right. It's, it's 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 we're talking Super Bowl and you should go to the Super Bowl standard we're talking about here. Um, but no, even with that. You know, again, there's some games where you just go, this game was f***ing unreal the way he played. Like, like, maybe only Josh Allen could do this today. That's it. There's nobody. But I do think you saw some glimpses, too, of when he plays it by the book a little bit, he can really be surgical. Like, um, remember my two games I was going to – the Raiders game okay. in Las Vegas, the Chargers game in Los Angeles – Two of his best games of the year because they – they. I know he had a, a beat in his brain all week. They're not going to give you the big play. You're going to have to settle for the underneath stuff and be patient and do that. And he kind of accepted it in those games and was surgical and was awesome. Completion percentage, the right decisions, the right throws, and then, of course, made the splattering of you know big plays. But that, to me, was the best. There was too many other games where it was like – well, they're not that good on defense. I'm going to fit this 45-yard sidearm throw in there. Oh, it was incomplete. Oh, there's another one incomplete. Oh, shit, we're punting. What's wrong with Kansas City's team today? They're they're a little off kilter here, Jim. Oh, well, they're not, you know, we're executing as good. You know, what's going on here? Mahomes isn't starting off. Well, yeah, it was usually that. Is that your Tony Romo? That was, I guess I was being Tony Romo. I was trying to be Jim going to Tony. <laughs> I should have been the other way around. Yeah. Or, yes, I, I messed it up. But, um yeah, I think that's what, you know, I came yeah. back to more times than not with him. Co yeah. So uh, we have a couple of graphics that kind of illustrate your point. I okay, think you can get deeper into it. I'm glad. The heat I'm maps. Glad, we have I the heat maps. They don't from, know my points, so this is From good 2020 to 2021. Um, if, uh, Courtney, if we have those, because they, they played uh, – they played them to, to not get beat, right? I mean, you got Tyreek Hill you got to defend against. You got some other fast guys on that offensive side. So you're, you play deeper. So 2020, you see Patrick Mahomes went more what? What is that? I, the middle? 2020 went more middle, and there was more outside more the outside, numbers. Right? More outside. More of that 10-plus outside the numbers. Yeah. Yes. There was almost none of that last year. I mean, very little. Below very, average. Very little. Right. And you, you see here, teams, I think to your point, you're right. They took away – a lot of the deep stuff. So, therefore, he had to settle for, you know, McCole Hardman underneath or, or you know, Travis Kelsey in the red on the, the, the image on the right there. And, you know, all those red in the middle, I would think the majority of those are Kelsey over the middle. Wait, they took away Kel uh, Hill deep. They took him away McCole Hardman deep. All right, here's Kelsey underneath. Boom, it was that. You see a lot of the throws in the backfield, again, to the backs and all that. But as we as I discussed last week, again, where, you know, people are going to look at it and go, well, yards completion weren't that great. Yes, I know that. And you know, I've heard people try to push back. Well, his yards completion weren't, you know, big. It wasn't huge. Yes, but it's uh, they weren't huge because of what he can do. It wasn't they were like, well, we got to call a lot of short passes because our quarterback can't throw the ball deep and he can't do that. No, they had to throw it short because everybody is so sick of seeing him throw bombs over their heads to Tyree Kill that – the league figured out how to stop that and it made him have to be more patient, except he just wasn't more patient all the time. And uh, I think that's why, really, again, he's number two. But this, this guy is awesome. How different will that offense look this year? And what might he have to do? Differently, because you got Tyreek is out. You got Demarcus Robinson is out. You got yeah. Byron Pringle is out. There's some speed out. Yes. In is Juju Smith-Schuster, who's been good in the past. Don't know exactly what he is right now. Right. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, he can go deep he for can. sure. Yes. Uh, Sky Moore, who I know you liked a I lot. I do, yes. 
I mean, how much different will Mahomes look this year than he did last year? I, I don't think it's going to look a lot different. I think what it will do is the fact that Hill's not there, a little bit like we talked about with Watson and DeAndre Hopkins a few years ago, I think it'll get him off of him a little bit and go, let me just get to the offense instead of like, let me see if I can make magic happen and make a big play with Tyreek. I think that's the, the biggest thing. I think also it's going to make him utilize just – the system itself a little bit more instead of looking for the guy and the matchup, right? You know, oh gosh, here he's running down the middle. It's Tyreek against a safety that's not as good or whatever. I think I should just throw it because he's better than that guy. Or even though the guy's in good coverage, or I think he'll play it by the book a little bit more. Yeah. I think he's going to spread the ball out a little bit more. And I think really it could end up being a little bit more of an effective offense in some ways. We'll see where it goes. You know, again, because I don't, it's not like they're losing a t I don't, I still think this is going to be a pretty good receiving group. I'm one of those that thinks it's going to be. So we'll see where it goes. And it would be a bold prediction to say they're going to be better. Yeah, I, a bold, without... I, I don't, I, I don't think it's going to be any worse. That's where Ooh. I will say. I don't, I don't think it's going to be any worse. A semantics debate I, right now. Yeah. Do we have the graphic of the height too here, uh, Kristen? Do we? So here it is. So. Uh, uh, this is the height of the receivers last year, the height of the receivers this year. So what have they got? And I guess it's got fairly a little taller. similar. I, the, the one that's taller is um, MVS. Yes, yeah, MVS gives them definitely a little bit more length. And, right. you know, Tyreek was 5'10", but uh, I don't know how tall Sky Moore is. Sky He's, Moore's about 5'10", as well. Right? I've met him in person, 5'10", 5'11". Some but, yeah, the Valdez Scantling, I think, is real. I think, you know... Again, I mean, I think he's a more dangerous receiver than Brian Pringle or Demarcus Robinson, so I think that's an upgrade. And then a Juju, to me, is like like a almost like a awesome pass-catching tight end that just got more speed. He's going to work the middle of the field. He's going to be tough over the middle. He's not afraid of contact. He'll help you out there. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw in Kansas City a little more emphasis on – the six and eight yard completions, even though they're never going to abandon their, well, you run deep and you run deep and you run deep. But I think with Juju, all right, and being a pretty good route runner and being good in that area, we know Kelsey's great in that area. Right. Sky Moore to me is a little unlike anybody they've had to this point. Who is 5'10". He is 5'10". Your brain retained that information. Thank you. Well done. Yep. And he's... Why, why do you say that? Well, though, he's a really good route runner. They haven't had like a real slot receiver you know the jitterbug can read and make all the sharp you know tight cuts and all that to where I just look at what they got and go man guys like Sky Moore and Juju they're good at that stuff they are and so is Kelsey to where I could see them maybe having a little bit more offense of finding the five and eight yard completion and then oh shit they're picking us apart with the five and eight and then you go oh shit there goes Valdez Scantling or McCole Hardman over our heads that, I could see that being a little bit more instead of instead of it was the opposite last the last two years just go deep go deep go deep and when they get so deep we'll finally throw it short I could see them this year going intermediate short intermediate short okay they're starting to creep up guys unleash the Mahomes bomb and then it's touchdown Kansas City so that that's maybe I guess where I'm expecting a little bit more gonna be this so year. many highlight plays from them again but it's gonna be difficult and it was last year um, because their schedule. Well, last year they only had five games versus teams who had a losing record last year, and two of those were the Broncos. We think the Broncos will be better this year, so the division might be as tough as any division out there uh, in football. And they start with at Arizona. Woo. Thursday night football, big one for Amazon against the Chargers and Justin Herbert. At Colts, at Buccaneers on NBC. Raiders, Monday Night Football, Bills at 49ers. Jeez. Although I, I do. Bye we do week, Titans. By week and then Titans. What I do realize going through these schedules is that the NFL is pretty good. They got a lot of good, good teams <laughs> right? in the NFL. Right? It's I like, know. There's not many cupcakes. There's, there's really not. In this league. But that's very, very difficult for the Chiefs. It was very difficult last year. It was. You know, to your point. I mean, I remember last year coming down the schedule going, damn, can Kansas City really for a fourth year in a row come out and be like one of the top teams in the AFC? And my answer to the, the one this year is yes, they can. They'll. I, I just would be shocked. They're ahead of the curve. Their team is in a good spot. You know, they changed over their team in the midst of Super Bowl runs. A little like 
New England used to do, where you go, they're kind of rebuilding and still going to AFC championship games. What is going on? Why is the rest of the league rebuild and we all fall off? And Brett Veach and Andy Reid are retooling and kind of turning over the team, and nothing's changed. We still look at them and go, oh, shit, here comes Kansas City. So, I, I mean, I don't worry about them. One, they're a tougher, more physical team than people give them credit for. It's one thing I always try to say to people because we think about them passing and greatest show on turf and all that. But in the trenches – there, nobody ever overpowers Kansas City. Nobody. And they're as good now as they've ever been in both sides there. So I just look at that and go, hey, they'll be okay. And, of course, it's Mahomes and Andy Reid and company and a lot of good players on that football team to wear, yeah, playoffs for sure. And then just we'll see after that because the AFC with some of these teams and quarterbacks is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Patrick Mahomes was number one in 2020. He was number one last year. He is not number one. It hurt in twenty. It hurt. It, it hurt my heart. It was like a sad thing to say, it, you know, because really, even in twenty nineteen, I think I made him two, and I was that year I made Rodgers one, and I was really like, man, this is freaking close, and it was like I gave Rodgers the edge by a hair. So I mean, we're really like in a year. This is the first time that yeah, I mean, it's the first time in three years, really like four years. I could, even that year, I think I could have made like Rodgers one and Mahomes one A. So, yeah, we'll see where this goes, uh, but, but it's, uh, he's freaking awesome. Let's not forget that. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.